Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading, June twenty fourth to a, a June thirtieth, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna go straight away to the reading. So the first card which represents the topic for Capricorn's week, that is going to be uh, the Knight of Wands, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Capricorn's needs to overcome throughout this week, that is going to be the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Third card stands for the positive aspect of the Capricorn's week, this is going to be the Four of Swords. And then the last card that uh, we do have, which is about the guidance that Taro is offering to you guys, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Okay, so once again, uh, we do have the um, Knight of Wands here, which stands for the general topic, followed by uh, the challenges, which are the Eight of Cups. Afterwards, uh, that will be the positive aspect, which is the Four of Swords. And then the last one um, is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, which is the Guidance. Okay, Cap Capricorn, so... Um, hmm. it's, um, well, that week is not going to af um, affect you directly, uh, for what it seems. It's just going to relate to a person that you hold on into uh, quite strongly here. A person that de um, not depends on you, but it's it's very very important uh, to you. Now, uh, how that week stands is that um, it seems that your how can I describe it? Uh, you both are gonna have differences into not not into opinions, you know, but into a way how uh, one thing needs to be handled. Okay. And uh, that one thing, it's not your thing, but it's his most likely thing, all right? And you may think that it is a, a simple thing to handle, but it's not as simple as you think it is. And that's why throughout this week, you need to place more faith into this person. It's all what the week is all about. So we do have the Knight of Wands here, which is the person exactly. And that is quite an enterprising, probably man, but it could be as well a woman. But the thing is that this person, it's not afraid to do what it takes in order to overcome um, the circumstances which are obstructing them. Just to give you an example, that could be your suitor, uh, which have problems and difficulties, and that is exactly why you cannot be in a relationship with them. You know, you may think that it's very simple for them to overcome those issues, but it isn't. And um, what this is, this card here is a confirmation, for example, that they very well know what they need to do and they're not afraid to do it, but there is a, um, a, let's say, technical time and timing, excuse me, for them to do what it's needed in order to um, do what is needed, okay? 
So yeah, it's it's a person who it's not afraid once again, okay? But it is just the situation on their end is not as simple as you think it is, and that's why you may face a, a lack of progress into the situation in between you and them as well. Uh, the accompanied card here, that is the justice card. So the combo that we have, it is a an active friends. So now we are seeing why that uh, why the situation is not going to develop as fast as you want to develop in between you and them. It is because they are quite accountable, all right? They don't want to do sneaky things. They want to do the things right. They want to do the things the way the things are supposed to be done, how the society expect them to do things and etc etc which requires a little bit more stalling which require which requires a little bit more preparation uh, that is highly responsible person for what it seems from these cards and uh, if the situation for example it's let's say you are a colleague of that with uh, with this guy or um, or a girl and you both want to chase a, a mutual goal, but that person is um, indulged with other projects, probably that person will want to finish those projects before he uh, start doing whatever they're supposed to do with you, all right? So you cannot blame them for that they are not devoting fully toward your agenda or toward your mutual agenda because they still have things left that they need to um, attend to before they completely devote to um completely devote themselves uh to you but uh it's the the most accurate example uh is uh, with a relationship type you know for example you and a girl or a guy like each other so much uh but you still are not into relationship because let's say that guy or a girl uh, are still in some sort of a relationship with their ex and there are still things they need to sort out so this guy or a girl doesn't want to be in a relationship with you until they do not sort out you know there are things with their ex or uh, with uh, yeah with their ex in general so uh the challenge here uh is the eight of cups and uh, simply the challenge points that you gotta let them be i mean you gotta leave them do their part of um of the enterprise or their part of the endeavor here you cannot do the things for them this is what i'm trying to say even if you try to help even if you are able to help your help ain't going to literally solve the problem at all your help only is going to let's say make the things a little bit more easier but overall in the grand scheme of things your contribution is not going to um like i said you know contribute into the solution of their personal situation so for that reason the challenge here is going to be to just how could i describe it just let the current situation be and have a clamorous belief that is going to improve not on its own accord but based on the performance of that person because you need to acknowledge that there is nothing you can do about it so that is the challenge to acknowledge that there is nothing you can do about it the accompanied card here is going to be the page of pentacles <laughs> so the formation it is a uh, passive friends and with the page of pentacles we're definitely talking about a long-term development so you gotta focus more upon the long-term development upon uh, instead of what it is right now, all right? And uh, this time that you do have throughout this week, Capricorns, you know, the time where you leave that person to do their part and you have that time free, you know, you have to think about how much you are investing really because the page, it's um, it has that property where one needs to be completely aware what they're investing in it and what they get from it in return, all right? And uh, some of you may decide that it ain't worth it, right? Some of you may decide that it is worth it. It will be different for each one of you. But the thing is that this week is going to be a week where you have to evaluate how deep you want to involve yourself into that situation, especially if we're talking about deep relationship commitment or a, a very mm, serious business endeavors as well. <clears throat> Because if we're talking about business, let's say you want to make a business with a friend of yours and you did everything at, at your part, but they still have to do something at their part as well. And even if you try to proceed with the things further, you can't because they have to finish their job. 
Uh, the the uh, positive aspect here, it is the Four of Swords, which is exactly having time to catch up your breath, having time to deliberate. And it is very important, especially if we're talking about relationship, guys, to deliberate upon your emotions, to deliberate upon your feelings. And if you are um, baffled, do you really love that person? That week is going to be a week where you're going to get the answer of it. But you have to calm your wavering and you need to think about it all right or if you want to do it that way you just take time uh by yourself i don't know how to say it, you know time on your own a time where you are spending it alone <clears throat> trying to figure out or you know attempting to figure out uh is this person the one for you and how that happens with the four of swords well you just see if you miss him or if you miss her, if you miss him or you miss her, then you definitely, uh, it's it's worth investing. The accompanied card here is going to be the, uh, the uh, king of pentacles. And the formation, it is a active enemies. So with the king of pentacles here, Capricorns, it seems that everything is pure. What I mean is that there is no single shred of a, uh, how can I, de uh, deliberate actions. So what I mean is that if, uh, if this is about relationships, you know, this person that is trying to sort their things out and they love you, uh, their love is rather pure, okay? They're not doing that because they're going to get anything from it, you know, or that they're going to take advantage of you and etc, etc. And you have to think about that thing as well. What I'm trying to say here, uh, guys, is that uh, when that situation starts developing itself, it's going to be deprived from surreptitious actions and from sneaky, sneaky maneuvers that one can take. It is not like... Um, <clears throat> you know, you're going to get taken advantage of. But like I said, uh, this is a week where you have to evaluate how far you're willing to go with all that thing because this person, King of uh, Knights of uh, Wands, excuse me, is putting really hard work, you know, to um, to devote themselves to you and to your community for gender. And it will be a shame if you are not scope that accurately and let's say in a couple of months from now, you realize that this ain't what you wanted. So everything that that person done is going to be in vain. And like I said, the whole thing relies on the purity of the situation instead of the premeditation of the situation and so the guidance card for you capricorns is going to be the tree of pentacles so this card uh, urges you to keep up and maintain the communication with them you know even though they need to do their thing on their own accord that doesn't mean that you don't have to speak with each other and that you don't have to consult each other um uh, and you don't have to consult with one another. Yeah, most likely they ain't gonna listen to your advice, all right. But with your um, with with that communication and with your, and with your guidance, uh, it is likely that they may be able to avoid a lot of wrong actions that they may take, which are going to complete, uh, which is going to further slow, you know, the process of um, of their performance and finalizing that remnant these remnants excuse me which they need to uh, sort out the accompanied card here is going to be the um the king the knight of cups and yeah you gotta talk about the future with them i mean you gotta talk about I mean, through talking about the future and how you both are imagining the future, either about the business that you're going to establish or either about the relationship that you're going to establish, uh, that will allow you to further be more aware, you know, what you're going to get from all that. And are you, are, is this what, sh what your heart really wants? Because here with these cards, it's all about what your heart needs and what your heart wants. And it seems that you need to place the dreams of your heart in front of yourself and follow them. And through those communications that you are going to lead with that person, um, it's everything will become clear is what they are offering to you as a, a future development. It is a dream of your heart and should you follow it. Like I said, not every, not every one of you guys is going to... Uh, end the week up with um, realization that they need to proceed with that endeavor. 
So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 24th to uh, June 30th, 2019. I mean, if you really love that person or you have big hope into this person, have faith in them as well because hope and faith are two different things. You know, let them do what they're supposed to do. Let them finish the unfinished business that they had with a third party or, or with third party circumstances and... Uh, as soon as they are done doing it, uh, they are to devote completely into uh, your cumulative agenda or into, you know, yourself in general. Yeah, so that that has been your reading, um, Capricorns. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.